This is the second time we have come here to the Expediter's Yard in Franklin Park, Illinois, and we have established definitely that we don't like coming here. <laughs> if you want to know why, stick around, watch today's video, be a witness to the mayhem. Uh, and by the way, just a reminder, communication is so important when you get to the gate. Maybe some yeah. of this could have been avoided. Well, welcome to the joy of trucking. <laughs> Let's take a look-see. Both. This is loaded, and I think I'm getting my next load here, too. We have Warner with the live load, and the trailer is loaded, and he's here to pick up too. Live load, right? Not a live load. No. Not a live load. No, no. not bad. He has a full trailer, and he's picking up two. Door 38. Door 38. So I must something right. So, you don't want me to drop the trailer anywhere? Just walk in that door and they'll tell me everything. He just said door 38. All right. I don't know if he said drop it. You said it's loaded, right? I'm loaded and it's a drop. Door 38. Right up here, I think, eh? Yeah. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Parking on the street here. Can they tell me what to do? I thought you were dropping this at door 38. You're going to door 38? He said, that's all he said was door 38. I'm gonna go look. I'm wondering if that's the shipping office. I don't want the other information here for my next load. There's a big block of something sitting there, but it's going somewhere. There's a cement block. Uh, looks like that guy is going into 38.
Um, so you should go talk to him, yeah? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Mass confusion. Find him spot 41 and they have to make room for him. Alright, so he got that out and now we're supposed to go to 41. Mayhem. Mayhem and mass confusion. Penske in your way there? No. I gotta open my doors though. Oh, I thought you went and opened your doors when he took your spot. I was taking the seal off, I didn't have enough room to open. Huh. And I still wasn't clear whether I was going to a shipping door or. Not 41. It didn't take 41. No, I didn't think that was 41. <laughs> oh boy. Should I wave them down? Nope. <laughs> Which one is 41? Why are we dropping it at a dock when their dock is full and we're not here for a live unload? They, they can have their yard goats do that. I don't think that's right. We have to wait while they make room and they're taking their sweet time about it. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. And that guy who took our spot, he's already hooking up. It's not right, but this kind of crap happens in trucking. Yep. And we had to... Uh, is this 41? <laughs> we had to uh, back up just a tiny bit, he said, yeah. Uh, had to flag him down ourselves. He didn't even know 41 had to be cleared. Okay, well, so the same atmosphere prevails as last time. I told you, last time I remember the place was chaos. And tight. today it's there's way less here. way less trucks and still chaos. Hard to, hard hard to maneuver. You're gonna have to mm -hmm. back into that spot with that guy's cab there. Yeah, yeah that guy, that nice. guy, we're not happy with. Maybe he's a nice person, but he just like cost us day. a lot of time. Just took our spot. Now he's in the way. He's already done. We haven't even had our spot cleared. And why are we even going to a spot? That's what I don't get. Unless when you accept the job, it'll be like, surprise! It's a live load! What? <laughs> Please don't let that be today's surprise.
tilting your head. Oh. Things are happening. Now what? why he was so tied up on you. I was like, I thought we already passed 41 and then he even made you move back further. Oi!
Nice. Nice. Good job, honey. Oh, yeah, and uh, there's the shipping office. Not that there's a sign. Even though our next load is coming from the same yard, sadly, it's not ready. So they told us to wait. And as you see by the yard, you can't really wait there. Luckily, there's Wolf's Cafe right around the corner where we had a very nice lunch and entertained ourselves until they kicked us out because they were closing. And the load that was supposed to be ready at three, still not ready. So listen, uh, we're gonna close out today's video, <laughs> but if you wanna hear what happened with the uh, pickup, you can join us in the next video because I'm gonna interview Kevin about today. Oh, and look, casting impregnators. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah, so it, uh, it was a long day here in Franklin Park at the Expeditors and let's get, let's get out of Dodge or Chi-Town. Oh, and what else is funny is we're leaving on uh, Highway 294. Highway? I? I-294. I-294. ay 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 I-294. And when we were coming in, there was a sign that said, uh, hey, this week, uh, daily closure at night. Nightly. Nightly closure. That's right. That's what that would mean. And uh, I said to Kevin jokingly, hey, we better be careful that we're not trying to get out of town in the evening or at night. Well, guess what? It's after five o'clock. We were coming in like 11 something. So we really were not expecting to even get close to this issue. But here we are, uh, sunset, shortly after five. And they, they didn't say what time they close it, but we are still getting out, uh, which is good. Thank goodness, because we're ready to get out of the greater Chicago metropolitan area. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and the shenanigans today. We hope that you learned about the importance of communication. Put your comments and questions below and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you want to keep traveling with us, discovering the roads of America and learning about all aspects of trucking, including mayhem and mass confusion at some of the shipping and receiving yards. All right, have a great day. With love from Kevin and Tanya. Bye. Uh, yeah, truck.